Hey everyone, CV Tech here. Today I'm going to give my review of the HTC Desire 626S. This is on Boost Mobile. And I'll give you the specs of the phone, take you around the phone, tell you what I think about it, give you some of the pros and cons, run some tests, play some games, and just give you the overall look and give my opinion of this HTC Desire 626S. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, this phone, if you look at the front here, does have a really nice 5 inch display. It is 720. Uh, at 720 by 1280 resolution at 294 pixels per inch. Up here is your front-facing camera. Here is your earpiece and your speaker, which is front-facing, which is really nice to see. Now, this is this phone does not have boom sound, nothing like that. Uh, so only one speaker works, and that's the one down here at the bottom. Down here is your micro USB charging port. On this side here houses your SD card slot and your SIM card slot under here. On top is your 3.5 millimeter headset jack. On the right is your power button, volume rocker here. On the back is your camera, your flash, and I'm guessing that's your microphone for your uh, video recorder and your HTC brand in here. Now, this phone does not have a removable, re removable battery. This phone is completely closed in. You can't take the back off, nothing like that. So it's pretty much solid built. Uh, and everything like that so yeah now, this phone runs Android 5.1 out of the box and runs HTC Sense 7 now I'm not sure if it's going to get 6.0 who knows see how that works out and like I said it does have a 5 inch HD display uh, this phone does have an 8 megapixel camera on the rear now I thought it was 5 megapixel but I was wrong it is 8 megapixel with LED flash and records in 720 max, 720p max video resolution. On the front is a 2 megapixel camera that also records in a max of 720p video. This phone runs a 1.1 gigahertz quad core Snapdragon 210 processor with 1.5 gigabytes of RAM with 8 gigs of built-in storage with around 3.5 gigs available to user. So not a whole lot of user storage there, but it does support up to a 200 gigabyte micro SD card, which is pretty awesome. This phone also has a 2000 milliamp hour non-removable battery. And this phone also supports Sprint's 3G, 4G, uh, 3G, 4G LTE enhanced LTE network. So you'll all get the fastest speeds if you get if you live in a good LTE or enhanced LTE network from Sprint. Uh, this phone does have Bluetooth 4.1, USB 2.0, and that's about it. Uh, this phone does not have no Hour Blaster, no NFC, nothing like that. Uh, this phone costs around 100 to 130 bucks, depending on where you buy the phone from. And so it is a pretty budget device, but it's a very solid built device. It's really nice. It looks really good. It feels really good in the hand. It don't feel cheap. It don't feel heavy. It don't feel light. It feels perfect, to be honest with you. And it just looks good. I mean, the phone in general is a good looking phone. It's more tall than it, you know, it's more tall and everything. It's got some pretty big bezels here uh, and everything. I was, I would just really expect the keys to be down here somewhere, but unfortunately they're on the screen. So of course you don't get the full five inch display when them buttons are there. Um, but no, anyway, it's, it is what it is. So go ahead and turn the phone on here. And the screen is really nice. Got that 720p display. Now it's not full 1080, nothing like that. But this screen is very clear. It's not washed out. It does not look grainy or pixelated. Nothing like that. The screen looks really high quality. And it's very sharp. I mean, when, you, when this thing's on bright, it's really clear and looks really good. Now here's your blink feed, which is really nice as well um, to have. It's very smooth. Uh, I can't stress this phone is very smooth. Um, some will say that the 210 processor is weak and underpowered, and yes, it's not flagship, but to be honest with you, I've kind of paired this phone beside the uh, LG Volt 2 that has the 410 Snapdragon processor with 1, gig one gigabyte of RAM, and to be honest, this phone here runs as smooth or smoother than the LG Volt 2. Now, that's just my opinion. That's just what I've experienced with this phone here is smoothness. Now, I will say that if you bog the phone down, a lot of background apps, stuff like that, um, it does slow the phone down. It does have some lag to it. It's not, you know, like I said, it does not have the flagship processor, nothing like that. It is what it is, a budget device that works very well and is very smooth. Now, let's go ahead 
and like I said, it's, it's very fluid, very smooth. It just really don't have any lag. Now this phone um, has a lot of uh, cool features with it as well. Um, of course, all your stuff here, airplane, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, all that good stuff. Personalize. You can change wallpapers and widgets and apps and you can manage home screen pages. You can make any screen, of course, your home screen. Pretty easy to do on this phone. Uh, let's go ahead and go back here. Back out of it. Change navigation buttons. Change your edit themes. You can change your accent color. So like if I was to change it to uh, tilt instead of traction, you've you seen a minute ago it had that red app drawer. Uh, we'll give it a minute to change and everything and come back up. You see going back home took a second to pop back up it's because it was changing uh everything but you see that down there changed from red to blue went to go into the app menu now it's darker so you can do all kinds of changing like that and it's really kind of cool that you can do so much customization with this device and that was also red now it's blue so yeah pretty cool um Change your wallpapers, ringtone, notification, font styles and size, keyboard and color, dial to color, all that good stuff. So it's pretty awesome. Now go down here and look at the about and look at the software information. It does have 5.1 and runs since 7. Now they took out the animation for the Android version for some reason or another. I don't know why, but they did. So yeah. Storage, like I said, about 3.5 gigs available to use, or not a whole lot of storage. Uh, battery life here, 59% uh, battery life, and it's got four hours on the battery. Now, this thing right here has got a very weak battery, which I'll get into here in a few minutes. Um, like I said, though, we'll go ahead right now, and we'll close everything out. As you see, all your stuff there. Let's go ahead and clear that out. Phone runs very smooth. Let's go ahead right now and play a game. We'll play Asphalt 8. Just to give you a just to kind of give you a little bit of a taste of how the phone actually runs. So let's go ahead and power the phone up. Power the game up here and we'll get started. Alright, the game's now loaded up. We'll see how smooth this thing plays. As you can see, it's very smooth and has no issues whatsoever playing this uh, CPU-heavy game here. I mean, even the 210 processor is holding up very well and it has really no lag whatsoever. As you see, no drop frames, nothing like that. It's very smooth, very clear. Very nice. Now we'll just go home. As you see, very smooth, no delay, no, no issues whatsoever. It's just very, very nice. And I mean, that's about really all I can say about the phone as far as, you know, how the phone works, in my opinion. It's just got a really nice screen, um, you know, really nice call quality, uh, really nice reception. I mean, it's just really nice in general. I mean, the phone really works well i've not had any issue with it whatsoever uh we'll go ahead right now and look take a look at the geekbench test and see if it's still pulled up from when i ran it last and of course it's not so we'll go ahead right now and we will run this test and while it's running um like i said like i said call quality is good uh, reception is really good on this phone. Uh, I have no issues whatsoever with getting out anywhere. It's just really, it's really stellar. It's really good. Um, one of the worst things with this phone here is the battery life. Like I said, it's 2,000 milliamp hour. You can't replace it or you can't change it. You can't have any extra, nothing like that. And the battery life is just miserable on this phone. Uh, I charge this phone. A few hours ago, I've been on it just a little bit, you know, here and there, a few texts, um, watching a few videos on YouTube, and it's done down to like 58%. So this is the phone here that if you decide to buy, I would definitely recommend a car charger. 
or a power bank or something like that to carry along with you uh, when you go out for a long period of time because if you use this phone for pictures videos anything like that it's going to suck the battery dry pretty quick so uh, wait for this test here to finish up okay finishing up here as you'll see it has a pretty low score of 298 for single score and 988 for multi-score um, the most I've got out of it was like 310 on single score and like a thousand and ten um, on the multi-score um, so it has dropped a little bit it does vary these tests here though I, do, I just run them to kind of show you the, the, the numbers um, it really does not show how the phone works because I mean even though that's a low score this phone runs very well like I said and has really no issues I mean I can't really say anything about the phone bad other than the battery life is just kind of miserable now of course you have your drop down up here and you got all your stuff uh, Wi-Fi Bluetooth mobile data all that stuff you got a little flashlight here which is really nice to have uh, it's always cool to see that app on the phone and everything so yeah um, the camera is pretty much you know you got you got HDR modes and your effects mode and stuff like that I want to take the time to go into that right now. Um, I will say, however, if you go, if you go to my channel, look at my previous video, uh, I did, or a couple of videos ago, something like that, I did a, a picture test with this device um, and a video at the end of it showing you how the front camera uh, recorded and everything. So if you want to go check that out, you see the you can see, see some of the picture quality that I, I was able to take on this device here and everything. Uh, so like I said, you know, 210 processor, it ain't the fastest phone on the block, but it does a good job. I've not had any issue. This is actually right now my daily driver. I use it more than any phone that I have right now because I like it so much. I mean, the keyboard is, I mean, the keyboard is really good. I have to, I use the, the Google keyboard and all the emojis are on it are really nice as well. They're really nice to use. Um, the keyboard really smooth. It's, re it's just really, a, really a nice phone. I mean, um, and if I had to say one more thing about the phone, it is the front speaker. It's not the loudest speaker in the world. It is nice to have one in the front. Uh, however, it is not the, the loudest. It's kind of tiny. Um, it's kind of weak. It's not, it has no bass, nothing like that. So don't expect a very powerful speaker out of this one here. It's loud enough for ringtone, stuff like that. But if you're watching YouTube videos sometimes, um, it's just it's kind of quiet and it's not the loudest in the world but it does do okay uh, so other than that I mean I give this phone a two thumbs up because it's a great phone and if you want a reliable phone it's gonna work well work good has a lot of features and a smooth gameplay uh, for the most part basic use um, a lot of texting taking pictures um, Facebook YouTube Twitter all that stuff this phone runs really well and no issues with it so that's basically just what I think of the HTC Desire 626s on boost mobile uh, 210 processor is a little weak but the 1.5 gigabytes of ram really helps out on gameplay and um multitasking on this phone so if you got any questions or comments about this uh about this video or this phone leave them in the comment section below and i'll get back with you as soon as possible if this helped you out any at all leave me that thumbs up i sure would appreciate it if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so by hitting that subscribe button i really appreciate it Y'all have a good one. Stay tuned for the next video.